Don't have to worry until May woke up. Yeah. Hey, I give you two some time. Just don't go far. I'll just be right outside. So were you ever going to tell me who my father was? If he didn't shoot me. It didn't make any sense at all, Olivia Turner, I'm pregnant. At the time. But the idea of her not knowing who the father was, I mean, I should have seen right through that. But at the time, I was with, with Connie, and I only saw what I wanted to see, like now. Tell me that you're going to blame yourself for not miraculously knowing that Dante was your son. No one else saw it either, But son. nobody else was as close as, as I was. I mean, I, I saw the way he protected her. He hated when I flirted with her. And how about at the carnival? He was all, you know, he was hurt. She was all over him. It was obvious. Hindsight's 2020. That's not the point. You made a choice to shoot an undercover police officer. You pulled the trigger. And even if Dante finds a way to forgive you, the law never will. Do you own a red wig? Is that on the warrant? A rookie cop brought in a, a red-headed hooker this morning. Ooh. Yeah, she wasn't charged with anything. But the gun that we took off Corinthos, it went missing soon after. Yeah, well, uh, I don't really see myself as a redhead. Uh, do you see yourself as an accessory to killing a cop? Did Detective Falconeri die? I better hope that he didn't. See, because the way I see it, you two conspired to steal on police evidence. That's obstructing justice. And you're trying to help Corinthos get away with killing a cop. We got nothing. Well, why am I not surprised? Now right, you guys can go. Sonny's a marked man. If Dante lives, he'll testify against him. And if he dies, well, Sonny goes down for murder one. Have a nice day. Sonny's not gonna be able to survive prison. He's gotta get out of the country. search warrant to search your place right now. Well, they won't be able to find anything, so all we're going to have to do is wait. And you know, we're going to have to let the cops make the next move. Just be glad that they're not going to blame you for Dante's shooting, okay? The, the christening was the perfect alibi. Yeah, but then Sonny disappears. They're going to be all over me. They'll know that I'm involved. They're not going to be able to prove anything. You know, to set bail, Sonny and I had to put up all our legitimate assets. So when Sonny skips, he's going to lose his house. And I could possibly lose this place. Hey. Don't worry. Because no matter what you lose, you're not going to lose me. Obviously, this is all very confusing. I'm not even sure who knows what or where to begin. Well, we know that Dominic is an undercover cop named Dante Falconeri, and he's our dad's son. And that Uncle Sonny shot him. You know what? This is all a little too much for everybody, I think, to deal with. But Uncle Sonny is innocent until proven guilty, right? Then maybe this entire situation with Dante is just a big mistake. Generally speaking, in law, if you kill someone, even if they're extenuating circumstances, whether it's an accident or a mistake, there are consequences, and sometimes they can be really tough. Well, it sounds like the less we say about all this, the better. I really don't know what to say, and I certainly can't offer any more oh, advice uh, about Sonny. What I will tell you is that it's okay to love Sonny and hate what he does. 
He's done terrible things. But no matter what, he loves you. And there isn't anybody in this room that he wouldn't give up his life for. If Diane gets bail, then you disappear before you're charged with Dante's shooting. I can't just shoot one of my kids and walk away. Okay, you know what? If Dante dies, you will be charged with first-degree murder. And it's not fair to put the rest of your children through a trial like that. If he lives, you'll still be charged with shooting him on top of Claudia's murder. What if Michael confesses to save you, Sonny? It will destroy his life. If you disappear, Claudia's murder is shelved. Michael knows that you're okay, and eventually you can see him again. You're just seeing what you want to see, okay. just like I did. Dominic came to Port Charles to shut you down. Right. He's still a cop. Mm -hmm. The FBI already has enough information to take you down. I don't care. I gotta figure out a way to make this right for Dante and for Michael. But you know what? If Diane gets bail, you disappear. You get one shot and you take it. I don't care what it costs and I don't care how you feel. We always knew it was gonna end sometime, Sonny. And you're lucky to be getting out alive. I know. I believe in you. And I know you love your children. So I know you're gonna do the right thing. I never wanted you to know who your father was. I tried from the start to get you off this case. Why did you just tell me the truth? I should have. I should have told you as soon as I saw you sitting on that couch when I walked into my apartment and you told me, you told me that you were here to bust on me. I should have told you. I used to know who my father was. But you've seen up close what Sonny's kids have to deal with. Honey, I didn't want that life for you. I knew that even when I was 15 years old. Maybe that part of your life, I wouldn't do any different. You did not need to grow up Sonny Corinthos' kid. Who all knows? I'm Connie. She's known from the start. That's why you and I were fighting so much. Yeah. Who else? Jax. Patrick Drake. <sighs> the other day, when everything started closing in, um, I went to Agent Rainer at the FBI. And I told him that Sonny was your father. And that that was a clear conflict of interest that would get the case thrown out. I told him that I would tell the truth if he didn't take you off the case. And he said he would. He said I didn't have anything to worry about. You know, Agent Rainer is a liar. But then so are you. surveillance for the cops. All right, well, let's look at the bright side of things. So what, you may be bankrupt and under police surveillance, but Spinelli and I will gain a very valuable and oh, experienced employee. And, ooh, best part. What? You can move in with me. I get to move in with you? Mm -hmm. You promise to wear those boots at least once a week? Well, yeah. It's Diane, maybe she got bail. 